to years gone in a flash. Seems like just yesterday the world was buzzing about hip-hop. New music born and raised in the Bronx. Now a new exhibit at Photographiska, New York City's only museum of photography, celebrates its contribution to the world. Two floors of images, 57 photographers. Hip-hop conscious, unconscious, takes us on a visual journey, half a century in the making. photographers that are now in their 70s have been working for decades and have really captured the generations of hip-hop influencers from the 70s, 80s, 90s, and so you'll see them throughout both floors. Many of the photographers included in the exhibit were just documenting life. No clue that the world was on the verge of a musical revolution. Some were just in New York at that time capturing a moment. Others were, like Ricky Powell, were on tour with certain bands like the Beastie Boys and things like that. You know, I think the later photography, they, they knew what they had there and they knew, you know, Tupac and Big E and those guys are, you know, going to be very important and talented people. Director of exhibitions, Amanda Hajar, is our guy. So this room seems like it has very recognizable faces. Let's stop here and start with the queen. Yes. <laughs> so this is now moving into that late 80s, early 90s period. This photographer, Jesse Furman, is really special because he's really working with these black and white, high contrast, really amazing images. And people have been really responding so well to these. Photographer Jeanette Beckman took these photos. She captured some of the most recognizable faces, Tribe Called Quest, Salt and Peppa, MC Light. <laughs> Unique style has always been at the forefront of hip hop. This is a 1985 pick of Run DMC's Adidas clad feet. In some cases, the exhibition chronicles an artist's evolution. This is a mid 80s slick rick and a 1994 eye patch wearing slick rick. <laughs> So this is where we start to move into regions, and this is the West Coast, where you start to see more recognizable faces as well, like Tupac, Snoop Dogg, Dr. Yeah. Dre. Right. Isn't that Easy e Easy e of course. In the exhibition, the women of hip-hop take their seat right alongside the men. Debbie Harry, pictured here with Grandmaster Flash, was a rapping pioneer, paving the way for 90s artists like Eve and Missy Elliott. I am in the room that's East Coast with the iconic Biggie behind me. And then we have an old school Little Kim. This photo is from the Source Awards. There's Faith Evans and there's Biggie and there's P. Diddy. And let's slide on down to a super young Mary J. And of course, Nas. Feeling nostalgic, the exhibition inspired Clara and Lorraine to bust a move. Do you feel like you're going back a little in time, but in a good way? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, we're seeing memories that, you know, we remember from freshman year in high school, you know, college. We're dating ourselves. Yeah, right? I had a few moves, too. Stress on. A few. Okay, wait. <laughs> Your face is like, please don't. Please don't. I think it's your day job. This music everywhere is so good. <laughs> Unconscious, old school, and new school collide. From Public Enemy and DMX, rest in peace, to Kendrick Lamar, Cardi B bathed in blue, and Megan the Stallion. It feels comprehensive. Here's a classic, Fitty, Eminem, and Dr. Dre. There's also a few artifacts to help inspire flashbacks. I mean, who can forget eight tracks and cassettes? Hip-hop conscious, unconscious, more than 200 photographs tracing the rise of the art form from the streets of New York to a global phenomenon. Five decades of music that changed the world. Now that's something to rap about. Crystal Young, Fox 5 News.